time so this is another unboxing and this one is much more bigger than last time of my unboxing so this time i ordered more um, items so i think i ordered about a hundred charms and then a few um, pencil pouches so the newest charm that i got is the acrylic um i think the gold foil of both silver and white so here it goes <sighs> Oh. I hope they have my pencil. <laughs> oh yeah, they have. I think so. It's in here. Okay. So here is the commission charm. So this one is uh, I got commission to do them. So it's, I supposed to order one each of the commission. I actually, actually got six. So the owner allowed me to sell these charms. So it'd be in my Etsy. But yeah, these are commission charms. The Yasuo, and here's the. So I ordered. So last time I ordered was only like two to three characters in each sticker set. This time I ordered all, um, all complete set. So this time, this time, I order, um, no, the double sided I'm doing is so I put different facial expression expression for each side. So I'm planning to do this with all my charms now. I mean, it's not really that hard to change each different expression, so might as well make it like more cute, cuter. Oh, this one is. I'm a manga. I'm an anime watcher, so I didn't read the manga yet, but I really like the design in the anime so far. So he looks really cool, and I have I heard lots of spoiler for my cousins, so. And here is another commission charm. I thought I could do this girl go foil, but the owner of this charm don't know what that looks like, so I just give him like normal epoxy charm. You want a circle in the middle. So it looks really nice. So this is Psychopath Kogami. And long-awaited Devil May Cry charms. I I love these designs. This is the first time I designed um, very detailed chibis. I love it. The colors is great. I suspect it from Vogue's. So here's the uh, Hien from Final Fantasy. I really like Final Fantasy XIV. I play the game, all my games. I just like all the characters that has like potential uh, sign of them liking you. So it's like, oh, it's so cute. Usually, I see mostly the male character these kind of all my game, but in Final Fantasy, there's I mean, male character that has lots of female love interest in the online game. But this one, they have lots of male that likes the warrior of life. So that's, I kind of like it. I usually have like games that have a choice where you pick as a girl and then you have potential love interest. I mean, I'm an Atomi game player, but yeah. Final Fantasy, I mean, Fire Emblem, so cute. These are all two inches. I heard someone think it was smaller than it looks. It's because the height might be two inches, but not the width. But yeah, oh my god. I mean, these charms came out great. I ordered a lot though. Uh, I, I realized that we I should not binge designing. I've been binge designing and then I, it's making the people complicated. So I have lots of correction to my charm. So I recommend not to design a whole bunch of the charms together because it might be complicated. Especially with different designs. Because I order holographic and gold foil. This one's so cute. Warning, this will be smaller. Cause it's taller tall and two inches but overall this one is so cute i think he is one of my favorite designs out of you so this is the second track for the guy so i ordered two for him oh dante so these are like epoxy charms so i go to the epoxy charm at the same time just in case some people don't, don't like glitter or holographic but yeah, Dante. 
so cool. And Nero was my favorite. He has lots of agility in it. Well, design-wise, I like that thing, but, but Nero in the in Devil Trigger vibe, I like the aim, his design way better. I mean, he looks more anime-ish. The Devil Trigger in Virgil and Jota is more demon-like, which I guess the appeal too. It's cool. Okay, these are all same thing. Let me get you. I think we all the same right here. It's supposed to be Virgil. Oh, I found Virgil. Oh. Virgil. I really like the devil trigger. They look so cool. I mean, I don't play Devil May Cry, but I watch my brother play, so I, I really enjoy it. I'm not much of a game, I play games, I play like JRPG games, but when it comes to action, like Resident Evil, I just watch my brother play, it's like a whole movie. Here, you're trying to finish the XIV, and usually I choose games that I get to choose my own gender. Because I want to play as a female, you know? So, yeah. I think, wait, is there one more for Final Fantasy? No, I think I ordered the rest last time. Um, three last time. I probably want to do XIV again though. Design it. Oh, there's Dimitri. I want to try doing product, um, prints. That's my next product. But here is Dimitri. He is my favorite ship. Robin and Chrome is my favorite, favorite of all Final Fantasy. But they are my second favorite. I mean, I wish ba Bayless had more character, personality, like Robin. But, you know, I get what they do doing. At least they have a story why she acts like that. Or he. Wait. And these are the... Go for it or follow? Ah, go follow. So I've had this in two charms version. Hollow and foil. Foil hollow just in case it co the foil comes out wrong. But hollow is usually the same size to sell because I want to try to sell hollow time as well. Theodore. I really like this couple too. They, my favorite ship so far in Persona 3 Portable is probably Akihiko or Shinjiro. This is another commission order. <laughs> it's a family, so it's not her discount. Ooh, it looks nice. This one for sure one of each. So my favorite ship of all miraculous ladybug. <laughs> I like this outfit more though. But yeah. I feel like I make this design a little step in the back, but it's cute, so. It's all the music, candy and stuff. So I make all six time each. So I want to keep one of each. Leftover, I'm probably gonna sell it in a con. Hopefully they're open. Cause mine got postponed at fall. So hopefully it's opening. It's at my school too, so yay. <gasps> my favorite ship is Akihiko. The sweet fries. It's supposed to inspire by the, they always go to walk together. And he likes sweet fries, so she fed, she fed, he fed her on Christmas. So I'm like a big romantic, so yeah. So here's Shinjiro. This one I have very hard time. Because the problem is I make it too feathery. You shouldn't do that. You should make it more solid design. So this is where the feathery part is. They make you, you, you can't do that anymore. You can't make it like oh, low opacity or whatever. It has to be solid color. So, yeah, I had to change this bottom part a lot. But here he is. This is when the scene when technically she falls asleep and die at the end. <laughs> oh, spoiler alert. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty old game too. I wish there's a remake for it too. It's the only Persona that you get to play as a girl version. Well, I'm not sure about the previous one, but Persona 3 Formal is for sure is my first one. What? They give me two on accident. That's pretty nice. I ordered one. 
should I be keeping two? This one is also one of my favorite coupling too. I guess my least, actually all of them are my favorite coupling. Sorry, I got cut off. So yeah, the battery went, I mean the memory went bad. So I have lots of stuff in my phone. So basically Ryoji and the other romance you can be with is also Ken, which is a little too young. So I was like, ah, um, maybe I like it. But yeah, this is my, this one is actually one of my favorite design wise because I love angel wings. I mean, I love like the angel theme. So yeah, I think these are all the hollow. Yeah, all the persona. Oh, pet selfies. Oh, these look nice. It's very textured for sure. I mean, I'm not sure, I don't know. I feel like it's too textured. Yeah, it's a little too textured. So I'm kind of conflicted on buying this. The print doesn't look well. Uh, I think this is a bust. <laughs> yeah, this might be a bust. The pencil brush does not look really well in my opinion. Either I'm selling it for very less or yeah i mean it's very textured i mean even i put it in cmyk i feel like it's too much texture so yeah it's not looking good so depending how i might sell it i mean i gotta ask people opinions so yep not very good too much texture for my taste so I'm gonna, in the next video, I'm probably gonna compare all the charm styles. Because I think I ordered most of them, except for the very high one. So this is the 3D one. Go for it. I mean, it's not bad. I like it. So... Go for it. You have to design more, like, how you say it? Like all the lines should to be together, no like cut off line. But yeah. He has the exclamation mark, the terokuyaki is highlighted. Yeah. They say they draw I think they draw it on top, but I'm not sure. Next time I try to make more outlines for the gold foil one. The other one was Boku no Hero, I think. That's gold foil. I mean, this one is probably my favorite out of the gold foil. The highlight of the... The... Headphones, the wings, and yeah, this is probably the best. Maybe the other one just more gold foil. See, that one is my favorite one. I think I have a Boku no Hero silver foil. That's the OG one. Yeah, this one is good too. I like the gold foil for the butterfly. Maybe, I feel like the Ciro one needs more gold foil. Or the Shinjiro one. Because it feels kind of imbalanced. But this one is nice. See? Gold. Yeah. So basically, don't I put like this in separate lines. So don't do that. Put it on together one line. Gold foil looks really, really nice. Well, that's why I put it like only a few. This is really small. <laughs> I knew it was going to be small. <laughs> but it's like two inches. So I was like, this is going to be really small because uh, it's like a test tube design. But, ooh. The silver foil looks nice too. So the Boku no Hero is all silver foil. So basically I'm trying to be more experimental on time. But foil are more expensive. So it's, I think it's like $5, $4 more expensive than normal charm. Yeah. It looks nice though. I might have to charge a little extra for the gold foil one. <laughs> but yeah. And then I think I got Hawk. It's my last one. Yep. He 
actually one of my favorite characters. I watched some of the mangas, but all the anime. I was like binge watching in all the animes, but Hawk is so far as like, I really like him a lot. So for foil design, I recommend maybe designing the border or any design that has a border around it. Or if you have like small flowers or butterflies, you can frame those with gold accent. Overall, it's, you should design it really well because these are pretty expensive. Well, more expensive than the normal epoxy charms. So, you know, make your money worth. So, I noticed the inconsistency of um, the description. So, right now, the back of my previous design, the Final Fantasy one, isn't hollow, but the front is. But for some reason, the one that I have now, both designs, both front and back are hollow so I found that kind of strange and the previous time um, about the glitter charm one of the persons say I can change the glitter amount but the girls say you can't change the glitter amount so I don't know something's weird but yeah but that's pretty much it overall all the products are pretty so I pretty much have good experience with Roll Grace even though the file is a little hectic because it's my fault but they gave me a lot of spares and lots of the commissioner spares like they got two so I'm debating whether I should get I think I should give both of them to them but yeah so overall I really enjoy the gold the gold foil or the silver foil charms I mean it has the simplicity to it and um, overall I, I feel like I could do better designing them but I really enjoyed them here's my keychain where it's so much keychain you can hit someone with it but yeah <laughs> but all these uh charm has all this uniqueness i feel like different um designs should fit all these different charm styles but yeah so i'm gonna do another comparison of videos about all these different types of charms so hopefully you stay tuned they will they will be slowly releasing in my etsy store and i hope you enjoy them thank you